Hi everyone, it's Finks here and today I'm bringing you another Valheim build video. Now, presumably from the video title and the preview prior to this clip, you already know that we're going to be building a Viking Watchtower today. Now, all that I ask before we jump into the video is that if you like this video and you find it helpful, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And that's my spiel over. Hopefully you enjoy the video and let's get started. Now, as with any great Valheim build, the first thing you're going to have to start off with is a patch of land where you want to actually build the build. It doesn't need to be that flat, this is fairly flat. You're going to start off with the log pole 4 meters, log beam 4 meters, log 2 meters, and then a log pole 4 meters. And we're going to continue this until we have a square shoot. Okay, so when you're done you should have something like this, and this is pretty much going to be the frame of our watchtower. Um, we're going to take this eventually, we're going to take it three high, but we're going to build this from bottom to top as I feel like, unless you're using creative, which I know a lot of people uh, don't like to do, especially in their primary servers, uh, it's going to be a quite difficult thing to build that way, so I'm going to do it from pretty much the ground up. Now, the next thing we're going to do is grab our wood floor 2x2 two two, and we're just going to snap it into this corner here. That's going to add a snap point for our first wood stairs, so we can take that back out now. And then we're going to have two wood stairs, a platform, and then if we turn this 90 degrees, another two wood stairs. We can then grab our wood beam 26 degrees and we're basically just going to tie off the end of all of the wood stairs here and again on the other side. Now once you're done with that and you've added these wood beams on the platform as well, I've just gone and added a couple of the two meter wood poles underneath just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our wood floor 2x2 two two again and just add this initial balcony on the first floor up. Now you could take this all the way around, um, actually I might just do that just to show you what it looks like. And I also just like to put a wood pole one meter here and then you can decide to put these poles wherever you like. I just like to put the final one on to wrap it off here and then I'm going to take the wood beam 2 meters and then just wrap the hold of this floor here. So this is what it looks like when it's done. Obviously this doesn't look too safe, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a barrier on here by just adding a couple of the one meter wood poles and connecting them up with the wood beam two meters. Now, once you've done that, it's gonna look something like this and then you're gonna to get to the stairs part. We're just gonna follow the same sort of idea so we can put a wood pole meter here here and just at the bottom there we're gonna grab our wood beam 26 degrees connect the slanted areas here and then the wood beam two meters like so okay so that's it pretty much for the first floor now we can consider building up a little bit more now so I'm just gonna add the floor in here and then come back to our wood pole four meters now we're just going to want to make sure it's connecting to these wood poles here so that we're getting the full size and then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. So it's a wood beam 4 meters, a wood beam 2 meters and then we basically just follow this all the way around. So when you're done it's going to look like this and now we can start to uh, just drop down here and add in these walls. So we've got the uh, just the regular wood walls here and I'm just going to go around and make sure these are snapping into the right place especially when you get onto the second floor you can do this uh, but you want to make sure it's fully on top of the wood, bulb, wood wall beneath it so it looks something like this and it's kind of pushing through the uh, hard log beam at the top here so just ahead of the stairs is where I like to put the door so I'm going to add a wood wall half just here and then grab myself a wood gate I'm going to put it that way and then fill up the rest of this room. Okay, so once you're finished with that stage, it's gonna look something like this. Uh, it's also gonna have a wood gate here, which I just happen to have open at the time. And then we can go ahead in here and just start to build up to the upper floor now. So I like to use the wood ladders. There's two in this spot here. We've got our platform and then two more wood ladders at 90 degrees. So as you can see, we're starting to get some height here. We can add in the flooring of this floor now. Now once you place the flooring in, I like to leave this sort of little L shape here. You can fill in uh, this half here with the wood floor one by ones, but I just think it looks better like this. What I like to do is grab the wood wall halves and just 
um, mark this off so that you don't accidentally fall down. So now we're going to do our last part of the structure here. So it's the log pole 4 meters on these corners here. And then like we did on the other two floors, 4 meters and then 2 meters. And then we're going to do this all the way around. So now that you're at that stage, it's going to look something like this. And what we can do now is grab our wood wall halves and just place them around the outside. Now for the roof, I like to use the thatch of 45 degrees. So I'm going to snap these on um, just in one direction here. And then use the thatch roof ridge just to tie off the tops here. I'm actually going to take this one further out on each side than I have to because we're going to create some sort of overhang and then we can do the same here with the thatch roof 45 degrees. So it's going to look like that when it's done and then we're going to grab the thatch roof 26 degrees and just create a sort of a different angle for the lower parts of the roof and we can grab this wood wall 45 degrees and just add that in just here. If you're having issues with it, you can actually, um, it's actually easier to snap this wood wall um, here first. And then once that's in there, it should make it a little bit easier just to place this in here and for it to just snap into place. There we go. And you'll know it's in place when it's coming through like this on the outside. So you can do the same again on the other side here. And then we're just going to tie off the ends of the structure with the wood beam 26 degrees and the wood beam 45 degrees. Once I've done that, I like to use the wood cross 45 degrees and if we're just stood on the roof here, we can just hover over the tops of these wood bowl 45 degrees beneath and then the wood beams here and just add that and tie off with the wood beams. So once you've done that stage, it's going to look something like this. I like to then take our wood beams and just wrap around uh, the top of the wood wall here. And then once you've done this, we can grab the thatch roof 26 degrees and I just like to take it off this level too. This is not really going to do anything because we have this overhang on the top here. I just like it as an aesthetics feature. So if you don't want to put this in, don't worry about it. You can just, you can just omit it. Add in the last corner piece. And then again, I'm just going to grab the wood beam two meters and tie off this part of the structure. So there you have it. That's how to build a Viking watchtower now obviously this looks a little bit plain so you can go ahead and add some extra bits i don't know this is just something i did really quickly added a couple of the blue banners or whatever color you feel like uh, and then obviously uh, within different parts of the structure itself added a little brazier here a couple of stools some rugs yeah i mean obviously you're free to design this as you like this is just a couple of suggestions uh, what i think looks nice and also, um, the other thing I've done on this building, similar to what I did on my Viking Tavern build, is just add a little bit of depth to the building by putting in this uh, crisscross pattern. So if I show you over here, all I do is I basically make sure that this section with the door here starts off with a diamond shape. And then you can basically just carry this around as if it was going around uh, the complete outskirts of the building. So it's a really simple thing to do, but I think it, it does actually make a big difference to the build. It's, I think the wood walls honestly don't look great. You can do the same again up here, um, or you can even add these little support beams like so, or something like that, just to give it a little bit of something extra. So hopefully you like this build. Hopefully it's something that you uh, can either take inspiration from or just replicate in your servers if you like it. Having said all that, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, please do like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you next time.